What's up guys, so good to see many of you smiling peeps out there in YouTube land. Welcome to my office in my home here in sunny Auckland, New Zealand, home of the Hobbits, the All Blacks World Champion Rugby Team, and of course, home to the America's Cup. And today, I want to talk about LUTs and how finally, finally, I've figured out a way to be able to preview them before you apply them to your footage. So let's get to it. So LUTs, 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 I love them. Who doesn't love LUTs? I love the lamp. Do you really love the lamp or are you just saying it because you saw it? I love lamp. Anyway, what are LUTs? So LUT stands for lookup table. And another way to think of them is a preset color grade that you can apply to your footage to give them a cinematic look or any look that you like. They're super easy to use and you can change them really fast. Like this, or this, or this. Heaps of my favorite YouTubers use them and they've created their own LUTs that you can download and use yourself. Peter McKinnon, for example, has videos on how to use LUTs and he has a pack that you can download and use yourself. I use them all the time. I'll put a link in the description below. Another one is Ryan Nangle. He's a hugely talented filmmaker and editor and he has LUTs free to download and has many videos on also how to use them. But before you use them, you have to download a LUT installer into Final Cut Pro, and that allows you to apply the LUTs to your footage. There are heaps of free ones available. The one I use is called MLUT by a company called MotionFX. If you Google MLUT, then head to the MotionFX website. They have a free LUT installer that you can download and install in Final Cut Pro. They also have a whole heap of tools that you can download and use in Final Cut Pro. Transitions, lower thirds, and of course, LUTs. They've put a heap of packages together that group LUTs into different themes so you can get that blockbuster or film look that you're after. Now, I should point out, this is not a paid commercial. They didn't pay me to say any of this. Everything I have from them, I bought out of my own wallet. Okay, now that you've downloaded and installed the LUT installer into Final Cut Pro, let's get down to business. This is some footage of Auckland Harbour that we're going to use as an example today. You can apply your LUT to each clip in your project. However, one thing I learned from Ryan Nangle is it's much, much easier to add an adjustment layer above all of your clips and then add your LUT to the adjustment layer. I'll include a link below where you can download and install one for free. Once you've done that, go to the Titles and Generators toolbar, select Adjustment Layer and drag and drop it over your clip. Resize it to any length you like. To apply your LUT, go to the Effects browser Scroll down until you find MLUT. Select that. Drag it onto the adjustment layer. Click on the video inspector and you'll see a selection pane where you can choose your LUT. If you're using the MLUT plugin and you've downloaded any of their LUT packages, you can see them in the library and preview them before applying. You can see this one is pretty subtle. If I turn the LUT off, You'll see the colour go back to the original. But what if you downloaded other custom LUTs like the ones from Peter McKinnon, Ryan Nangle or hundreds of companies out there that create them? Rocket Stock is another one. Link in the description below. Until now it's been impossible to preview them before you apply them to your footage. Using the MLUT plugin you can still install custom LUTs as you can on any LUT installer but you have to load it then see what it's like, and if you don't like it, you have to go through the process again and again before you get the look you like. It's a real pain. But then, I discovered a way you can preview custom LUTs even though they haven't come from the MotionFX library. Check this out. Go to the MLUT library, select the drop down, and click Add New Category. Type in a new category name. In my case, I'm going to add a place for Peter McKinnon's LUT pack. Click OK. Then go down to the bottom, click Import, find the LUTs on your system wherever you've saved them, select them all, and click Import. 
make sure the right category is selected, click OK again, and now they are all added to the MLUT library. Now you can click and select any of the LUTs and it's instantly changed on your footage so you can preview what it's going to look like before you select it. When you've found the one you like, click OK and Bob's your uncle. Which is Kiwi 4, everything's sweet bro. Which is Kiwi 4, everything's good. So, bada bing bada boom, there you have it. Finally a way that you can preview your custom LUTs before applying them to your footage without having to go through the laborious process of loading each one just to see what they're like and then changing it if you don't like it. So that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please drop me a like. Smash it if that's something that you're into. Thanks Pete. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more of this type of video or if you've got any other suggestions of the types of videos that you'd like to see from me, please make a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.